So on this video, we got to talk about your kidneys. You know, I feel like the kidneys are like this forgotten organ that we don't think a lot about. Like, I don't know if it's because it's they're behind us. We're not, we're always looking in the mirror in front of us, but the kidneys are so important because they literally filter out toxins. They are a filter system. When I dove into some research on the kidneys, I found that actually one in seven Americans have kidney disease. So this is like a big problem. So on this video, I really want to talk about some interesting signs and symptoms you might see that would tell you that you have some kidney damage. So, and what's interesting about this particular topic is those of you who watched me, and I'll put the link here in these notes, those of you that watched me on the Diary of the CEO podcast, you can find it here on YouTube. Uh, Stephen asked me, what are some things we can do to look at our body every single day to see how our health is, how, what direction our health is going in? And I laid out some really interesting ones. And now I'm thinking back on that. And I'm like, I really wish I had talked about the kidneys a little bit more. So here you go. Those of you who saw that, that episode, I'm going to dive into kidneys here. And I'm going to make it so that you can go look in the mirror. You can look at your symptoms and you know exactly how your kidneys are doing. Ready? Here we go. Okay, first, I just want to remind you that every organ in your body has a purpose, right? This is why when they start taking organs out, um, there's no useless organ, including the appendix, by the way, um, if you've ever, or the tonsils, those are two organs that like to be taken out a lot because when they are malfunctioning, they can cause problems. But just time for another video, but the appendix holds good bacteria in it and it squirts good bacteria into our digestive tract. So it's not useless. And the, and the tonsils actually are lymph tissue that help you fight infections, not useless. So there's no useless organ, just so we're, we're clear. And so the kidneys are very focused on detoxifying you. And we live in the most toxic time in human history. So the toxic load and the toxic barrage that so many of us are experiencing, we need some real easy ways to know how these organs are handling this toxic load. So with that in mind, here are, here's what I want you to look at and signs that would tell you that your kidneys may be off. So the first one is muscle cramping. So any, especially in the lower legs, and this is interesting, I found a 2016 study that said 30 38% of people with kidney problems experience muscle cramping and leg cramps. So the reason for that is because of the electrolyte imbalance that happens with kidney problems. So your kidneys are going to filter toxins. They're also going to make sure that some really key minerals like sodium, potassium, magnesium, that there's a good balance of those minerals in your body. Now, if you go, if you've been following me here on YouTube for a while, um, I've been really talking about the importance of mineral health. We, we see it a lot when we put people into fasted states. One thing that I learned is that it's very common to have muscle cramps. And so muscle cramps in the fasted state can be an electrolyte imbalance, which is really important if you come out of a fasted state with a muscle cramp, then time to power up on electrolytes. But in your everyday life, if you're not fasting and you're just stumbling upon, upon this video, if you're getting muscle cramps on a regular basis, there's a good possibility that your kidneys are not helping regulate your electrolyte balance in your body. And this is a big deal. I mean, I, especially as we get older, a lot of people, a small change in sodium, a small change in potassium could be a heart attack. Like it's, this is how important this electrolyte balance is. So if you are getting regular kidney or regular muscle cramps, Again, every symptom, I should have probably said this in the beginning, every symptom, you, I highly recommend you go and check your, with your doctor if you have any of these symptoms or if you have many of these symptoms I'm going to go through and make sure you're getting your blood work to test your kidneys. So muscle cramping is number one. And again, remember, like most people who have kidney problems, one out of seven adults, they don't have, they don't even know they have it. In fact, I've, I found a really interesting stat that 90% of those people don't know that they have a kidney problem. So don't dismiss muscle cramping. Okay, number two, and this one's really interesting because it can happen for a lot of reasons, but 
it's a change in urine. And it might look like one of three things. So you might notice that you're urinating more frequently. Um, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. So sometimes men will urinate more frequently because there's a swollen prostate. Um, for women going through menopause as estrogen drops, sometimes we'll notice a frequency in urination. Um, but if, if you're not in menopause, if you've had your prostate checked, and um, you are frequent, you're urinating frequently, just pay attention, especially at night, pay attention to the fact that it could be a challenge to your kidney. Second thing, and I hope you know this, but if you don't, it's really important to point out blood in the urine. Um, those of you who have ever had a kidney infection, I know years ago I had a kidney infection and that was the first sign that I had was blood in my urine. And it looks very different than regular blood, like for women who have their period. This is more like a very thin strand of, of blood that looks like almost like a bloody thread in your urine. That can be a sign of kidney problems. Kidney failure, kidney infection, it could go both ways. Okay, check this out. I have a free fasting guide for you all. It's free. And it's gonna teach you all the basics of fasting. It's gonna teach you how to kill hunger when you fast, which is really cool. And it's gonna show you how to break your fast, among many other things. All you gotta do is click on the link below and enjoy. And then the last one, and this one's really e interesting, is foam in your, in your urine. So a foamy urine can be caused by excess protein. So again, I hope you see, those of you that have been following me here on YouTube for a while, my videos all connect. I'm here to teach you how to live a lifestyle that really supports your health. And one of the things we've been talking, having a continual conversation about is protein and how important protein is. But sometimes this new fad of too much, of adding all this protein in can be hard on your kidneys. So take a look at your urine. Is it foamy? If it's foamy, you might, your kidneys may not be breaking down all that extra protein that you're eating to build muscle. So, you know, I, as gross as this sounds, there are several things you should look at every single day. And when you go to the bathroom, do you look in the toilet and look at your urine or your stools? These, are, these will give you indications as to what's going on in your body for both men and women. So make sure you're looking at your um, urine and seeing if there is a change in frequency, especially at night, blood or foam. Okay, third one, this is really, really, really interesting, which is puffiness around your eyes. So our eyes really tell us a lot about organ function. On the diary of the CEO, I, Stephen and I talked about how the inner corner of your eye, if it's yellow, that can be an indication of liver health. Well, the puffiness, puffiness especially in the morning, but that puffiness in, you know, right underneath the eye that we don't like when we age, if it's getting worse and worse, you know, make sure you're looking at your kidney health. You're having a complete blood work done by your doctor every year to see how, if that puffiness is actually your kidneys having prob problems. And those of you that are really working to increase protein because you want to build muscle, keep an eye on those eyes and make sure that that protein is your kidneys are able to ha handle it. In general, when we look in the mirror, I just wanna bring this to everybody's attention. When we look in the mirror, I think many of us are like, do I look good or not look good? I wanna change that for you. I wanna, I wanna you, find, you can keep looking to see if you look good or not, but I want you to think about how I look could tell me how I'm functioning. So, Liver, corner of the eyes. Are the corner of the eyes getting yellow? Puffiness under the eyes. That tells us the kidneys. When you're fasting, I always recommend you look at your tongue. Is your tongue going white? That can tell you gut health. Um, bottom of the feet. I've done some really interesting videos for you on liver, on, the, on your liver. And I talked about how the bottom of your feet can tell us if you've got, if that cracking has happened, it can tell us if What's going on with the portal vein of your liver? Go back, I'll make sure my team puts a link to the, that video in here so that you can go look at that. The, your hair, your hair can tell you how many minerals you have in your body. Your nails, if they have ridges in them, same thing, vitamins and minerals. 
So the purpose of a video like this is really to start to give us more language around looking at some of these subtle cues that can happen um, that show us that we're moving out of balance with our health. And you may miss them if you aren't aware of them. So in kidney health, one out of seven Americans. So these things are much easier when you catch them early. Um, and hopefully videos like this help. So as always, I'm here to teach you a, a healthy lifestyle and make sure that you're living your best life possible and that you're staying healthy as you age. Um, and most of all, that you keep believing in this amazing body you've been given. So as always, I hope that helps. Okay, where are my gals that are struggling with hormonal imbalance? Bloated, feeling like you're not making progress with weight loss? You need to add these foods in so that you can support better hormonal health. There is a lifestyle that estrogen wants you to live, and there is a lifestyle that progesterone wants you to live.